to this friggin' selection again. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm immediately deciding. I'm not doing a random. Even though if I click random, it'll probably come out as it. I'm gonna go Azure. Because I haven't played Prince Azure in a long time. Yes. I don't know where the music's gone as well. It kind of just isn't existing right now. Unless it's because <laughs> was singing. <laughs> and for some reason, Lady Emerald's lost a button. I don't know why. I don't know what a f issue is, but... <laughs> oh, you've gone mustard. Interesting. Suits the hat, actually. Suits the hat pretty Let's well. I'm gonna go... I mean, it's on theme. Masquerade is your... What we're going for. Okay. Masquerade. Ah, on theme. Now, who do we have as the extras? We haven't had... Hmm... We've not had Plum recently, have we? Oh, no, we did. We had Hollywood Plum. We haven't had Green in a while. Oh, no, we did have him recently. I'm going to revert back. I'm going to go... I'm going to go Classic Plum. <gasps> Let's just go Classic Plum. Wow. Just your bog-standard Plum. Mm. Ooh, Which that's one? Hollywood one. Hollywood, ah, okay. Ooh. The Masquerade one was a weird one, wasn't it? Because I can't actually remember who the additional characters were. Was there an additional... Well, there wasn't one for Miss Peach. I think it must have been... It must have been Scarlet must have been included. Yeah, she yeah. was. Mustard was. I don't remember Mrs. White getting one. Oh, yeah, she did. She got the twins. Yeah, let's... Let's go with them. Let's get them in. Okay. I think it was Scarlet Mustard White. Green had one because it was the Cardinal. And then I think it was Azure and Orchid. I think they were the they were the masquerade ones. But we've got one last person. What are we thinking? Inspector Grey. I was you know what? I I was thinking <laughs> Grey and then went for Mrs. White instead. Mm. She was a board. I tell you what, I think. Does this put us halfway in? Because we'll have done four... We'll have done eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, halfway is... We're not even halfway yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Next one's halfway. That's SFX. Because it's like we've done loads. Bruh. Well, I hope you're ready. Because it's... um. We have done quite a few, haven't we? Yeah. It's your time to uh, defend again. Once again? So I hope, I hope this time you're ready. You don't want to lose another one. You really don't. Two on the I'll trump. get the extras. So we've got Mrs. White, Mrs. Peacock, Plum, and Grey. Yep. Rack him. <sighs> I, I, I wish you luck for this one. I hope it doesn't go bad. I hope it doesn't. Don't want to do with losing another one. Oh no. Um, I mean, you've won this one last time. You could do it again and bring it back to a tie. So, they're all in. So, I'm going to start the game of Cluedo. And the music this time. You know what? We haven't listened to the Masquerade music in a while. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh my God. Horrific is an, an understatement. I'll be honest. Wow. We had some pretty cool weapons in this one. We've got the loot, the poison, which is ones that we've already... They were all already the generated ones, weren't they? Sword, parasol, yeah. pistol was involved. And the candelabra. Ah, this was the only other time we used the candelabra. And then we've had... And then we added in the lantern and the chalice. Chalice. Yeah. This will be interesting. Not bad selection. Oh, no, not really. Chests-wise, um, I'm going to go for the ballroom. Which is weird, because it's like I say, they're all in weird places, aren't they? Oh no, the ballroom's still in the same place. I'll go ballroom and I'll go... I'm going to go for the pier. A pier to fear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we should fear that pier, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm going to do the drawing room. Okay. And I like this room, the veranda. Ah, okay. I'm just uh, I'm just popping in the, the characters. So I've got plum, mustard, peacock, grey, white, and azure. Interesting selection this time. Yeah. I don't know why today I decided to dress up as a f horse, but <laughs> here we are. I feel like it would have been better to dress up as that for the Wild West one. I don't really think yeah, that through. A bit more fitting. Should I see if I let me see if I can find some like posh prick to dress up as. <laughs> I've got. I'm gonna get in the themes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, oh, I've got the perfect one actually. Oh no. 
No, we're not going for that. What the is that? <laughs> oh my god. Is this him? Yeah, he looks... Well, he's a pirate, but he looks borderline Italian. Sorry to any Italians watching. Here we go, look. This is very... Looks like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, is this the chest? Oh, f <laughs> We kind of just zoned out a little bit. Right, let's go and pop these in their respective locations. Do -do -do -do. You know what? The music's growing on me. Not bad. I do think, though, and I think it was you that did a lot of the design for this. I was very I came involved up with some with this ideas, one. but this was one that you were very heavily involved in. I kind of tried to do some of the SFX stuff. Yeah, you did the SFX one after this compared one. Compared to the first few, where I think right up until Murder Express, I helped Murder Express as well. And mm. then, what was the last one we did? The last one we did was Liars. I helped with that. Yeah, so this must have been the first one where I think I had a slight involvement, but not much. This mm. was very you central. Me I think I might have helped with the floor, and obviously I helped come up with the weapons, the extra weapons, oh, but yeah, that was about it, really. Oh, sh cards. <laughs> I forgot about that. Zoning One, out. two, three, four, five. Well, I mean, if we don't yap, there's no point in commentating, <laughs> is there, really? We commentate. I've got seven, eight. Eight. Right. Let's have a quick look at these. Good Buster rating this week. This week? You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna say not bad. Oh, for f sake. It's done it again. It was going so well, and now it's just not oh, um let's get these ticked off then we just mark off these For sake it's done it again there we go oh my it's getting worse i just for some reason every single time we have something new and it's just like F off it's basically what it's telling us to do Satis. it really does right i'm uh i'm all sorted in now I'm yeah. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. I love the loot. It just looks so looty. Looty. Uh, right. Well, let's uh, kick it off. I forgot that I have the uh, the pleasure of going again first. Um, you do. Where's the dice? Here it is. Oh, let's let's treat ourselves. Get this music back on. <laughs> Six. I think I'm gonna go. I'm sure. See, like I said, the thing is, I've not played him in ages, so I thought, well... You haven't? Because I feel like after a while, you kind of lose track of who you're playing as. Yeah. So, um... Okay, so I'm going to go with the ballroom, and I'm going to go for Mrs. Peacock with the poison. Okay. That's my guess. Yes. Okay, thank you. I feel like we don't really need to explain any... Because I'm unlike last time, obviously, with the liars, this one's pretty much as you've seen it before, just obviously the different rooms. Yeah, there's no different so, rooms or anything. I don't know if you've if we've taken anybody... I don't think we've shown anybody around the map, actually. You might have seen... There was... I don't know how far you got, actually, with the... Um, we had the random little Cluedo snippets, didn't we? But essentially... Oh, yeah. We've got the arcade, that's here. You'll have probably already seen the veranda. Um, we've got the theatre here, featuring Blue Van Man. Shout out if you're watching, mate. Not that you will be. <laughs> um, we've got the banquet hall up in the corner. Very fancy. We've got the ballroom where I've just been. We've got the gallery here. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Drawing room. Forgot about this one actually. Featuring a little Easter egg, a little Cluedo trophy. The trophy there. Gotta enjoy it whilst it lasts. Then we've got the bedroom, which is here. And then last but not least, the pier, which you very can actually unique. go down. It is, it is very good. And you can actually get in the boat. You can't go anywhere in it, but yeah. But I think Locked from a design there. point of view, this one's pretty good. Like definitely. You've yeah. gotta give it to yourself. I feel like it one. might not be our favourite, but design-wise, it is good. Yeah. But come the next clue, though, like SFX, that's where we're going to have to probably go through the rules a little bit more, because that one's a little bit more confusing. Yeah. Can't uh, we're that. back to the same, same situation where, for some f reason, we just don't have very good dice rolls. 
Not in this game. Now, uh, you need a bit of luck here. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there you go. I wish I went that side now. Could have got to the drawing room. Um, I wonder if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can actually get to the veranda, believe it or not. Really? I'm sure you can. Oh, I can. I think I will, yeah. That's what I mean. I it's there. You might as well. I'm going to suggest. I do suggest... like this room as well. Yeah, because you get the view and that. Well, the view does go on to a Cluedo, which can't be named. <laughs> Although we get a lovely view of our, uh, in the distance, not the this house. one here, but you can see the big house over there, which will have a, a big involvement in the uh, the next Cluedo that we do. Yeah. Right over there, right next to us. Anyway. Uh, Inspector Grey with the sword in the veranda. Okay, I will go grab that. And I can help you. You're in luck. I love the sword. So cool. So cool. I love how you've chosen the most grey items to put on the <laughs> grey floor. Grey floor. Um, yes, there you go. Okay. I don't know why I did that, actually. There we go. Okay. Time to roll. Where are we going? See if we can have any luck. Oh! <laughs> I'm also in luck. And I feel like I should probably take a warranted trip to the drawing room. Mm. See what this card's got to offer. Okay. So, I'm going to go for Azure with the loot in the drawing room. Okay. Azure loot drawing room. I do have one, yes. Lovely. Thank you. That is very helpful. Seven. Why did I leave the loot on the floor? That's not bad either, to be honest. You've got quite a few options. I don't know if you can get to the arcade. Three, four, five, six. No, that'll leave you no. just outside. There's the theatre as well. And obviously the cards are, what, pier, ballroom and drawing room. Oh, on that I side. Think they are... Oh, no, the arcade's not the same this time. I know in the... It wasn't the Liars one, it was the, um... Which one was it now? It wasn't Snowy Peaks. It must have been Murder Express. Where... Oh no, Tropical Mystery. It was in one of the last ones, weren't it? Where the, um... This door is blocked off. But with the arcade, it's very much open. So, that's oh. cute. What's... What's your... What's your turn? What are you doing? Uh, I'm in the gallery. I'm gonna suggest... Okay. Inspector Grey with the... Let's go Chalice. Okay. You might just have to pop back through the secret passage for Grey. And I'll have a little sift through my cards. I have got one ready and waiting. Alright. Hopefully that's of some use. Yep. I feel like we're going to have to turn these Cluedo games into a mix of, like, actually playing Cluedo and then just generally chatting. That's what it is. Because, I mean, if we're going to have a moan and a whinge about life, it's f boiling. <laughs> I am absolutely it boiling. Would. Couldn't sleep last night. Oh, no, neither could I. I was wired. I was sat outside at like two o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> I'd finished work and I just couldn't be f arsed. Terrible. Right, free. It's just that weather, innit, where you just, you can't sleep. Yeah. And like, after a few days, you should get used to it. But you, some, you just can't. So it happens every year. You can't. Like... No. Literally. Oh, one day? But I love how we're moaning and whinging back in May because we're like, where's all the f sun? <laughs> the second the sun turns up and now we're like, boiler, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> it's like, for God's sake, when are we gonna? When are we ever going to get a grip? <laughs> exactly. There you go. I thought I'd put all the little weapons together. It's your go. Uh, free. Nah. Can't really get anywhere, but no, nah, you and me have done the same. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I might as well. We'll go to the bedroom, have a nap. <laughs> if you can sleep in this <laughs> day. <laughs> um, right. I'm going to go for Mrs. No, I'm not actually. I'm going to go for Professor Plum with the parasol. parasol. That's an interesting, an interesting, but also very random suggestion. Vince, in a bedroom. Apparently it can happen. According to the app, yeah. it can. Yeah. Uh, I do have one, yeah. And now we've got an entire set of new skins to have to go through. For the... Although I feel like they've kind of been a bit lazy with that. Like, not to yeah. call them out or anything. But it's, it's like they've mildly. basically just kept the exact same look of the characters. But just dressed them up. Whereas, like, with this, we've had so many different versions and so many different looks, if you know what I mean. Yeah, the themes in this are quite good, actually. I think they did this very well. 
I think yeah. they're gonna. I think in order to make the next one good, like obviously we're gonna do all the boards and that, but character choice wise, it's not so fun because it is just the same. They're just dre dressed to fit just the occasion, I guess. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Ah, ballroom. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. How's this happening? I looked at it and I was, so oh, many times, yeah. That's. I think that's happened like twice at least now. Because I swear when we did like Super Cluedo, it never used to happen. It was either Super Cluedo, it was Discover the Secrets, but I swear one of them was the same room in there. Yeah, yeah. That it's it's happened at least twice in this series. I'm one hundred percent sure of it. <laughs> what are we uh, What are we guessing then in the ballroom? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go mustard. Okay. With the lantern. Okay. Um, you will be lucky to know I have your card. I can uh, prove your okay. innocence. I am innocent, in fact. Yes, you're not the murderer yet. Well, not this time, anyway. <laughs> Let's see where how far I can get then. I can't get very far at all. <laughs> um, fair enough. I really wanted to take a trip to the bloody pier. Yeah, I'll go there, because I've got both options open. You'll go again, then. Jesus Christ. Wow. Um... You've got several options here, actually. You've got theatre, you've got banquet hall, gallery again, drawing room. You've got all of them. I do, don't I? Mm. Um, I'll, uh, I'll go in here. Okay. I guess you do get to see the card in there. It's a good one. It's a good Ooh. one. What are we feeling? I'm going on the hunt for uh, the pieces. I'm going to go with Peacock. Okay. With the sword. Peacock with the sword. I have that. I'll be right over. And yes, I can help you out. Let me just... There you go. Okay. Again, though, it does seem to feel like this one's going quite quick. We seem to have made a lot of progress very quickly. Yeah. I mean, you're you're down to last card. I'm about to be down to last card. I'm floating in the air, apparently, now. Okay. That's nice to see. Let's have a look, then. So I'm going to go with... I don't think it's I don't think either have been asked yet, so let's just let's just mix things up a little bit. Mrs. White with the candelabra at Let's the see. pier. Uh yeah. Any look. Rackin. Ah okay. There we are. Six. Just doing my little notes. I like the fact that we have a little notes page specific. You can just write Yeah. Wait, where notes. are you wanting to head to? Um I think I'm gonna go back in here. Back to the ballroom. Okay. Let's suggest peacock. Okay. With the chalice. I don't know where that is. I think oh, it's it here. was... Oh, yeah, gallery. And yes, I can help you out. Okay. Very helpful. I'm glad to hear it. Six. I'm going to take a trip. To... I'm going to go with the arcade. Let's go and see what's going on. So, let's go with Azure and the loot. The loot. That's what we're going for. Azure, loot, arcade. Uh -oh. Just casually playing some musical instrument. <laughs> Lying peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Unlike the person that he's murdered. Uh, you've got none. Okay. None. Uh, that's fine. Oh. It's the first no of the game so far. Is it? Or where are you? Where are you thinking? <gasps> Just go there. Okay, plonked right there. Oh, we'll get we'll get some more Cluedo music back on. Might as well treat ourselves. Nine. I feel like it's got to the point though. Now with the hot weather, it's getting to the point where we have to try and just muffle as sounds so we don't get like just feedback from a fan. <laughs> yeah. Two, four, five, six, seven. Because so I've just got mine right next to me, just like. <laughs> sorry, viewers. Yeah. Fear sorry, everyone. Fan. Oh. Okay. That that's a that's a good one. It's a good one. Um. So veranda. Well. Oh god, it's done it again. I think I'm gonna go for... Yeah, I'll go Peacock and Candelabra again, please. That is, that is my guess. If I can find the f There you are. Got you. I'm getting away this time. Yes. 
Oh, okay. Ah, all right then. All right. Right, it's your go. Take it away. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, well like then. This. No, it's not nice. Not worth it. Six. I'm going to go to the theatre, I think. Go and see what's going on in here. Um, Azure and the pistol this time. Ooh, um... In the theatre. Do, 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 do. Yes. Ah, okay. Rack him. No, you, you're taking the piss. Wait, what? What did Born you get? Again. You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? No. Oh, to be fair, I've got the f same, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just stand out here then, I guess. I ain't getting anywhere. Free. Um, Banquet Hall. All right. I'm going to suggest Azure with the lantern. Azure and the lantern. I think the lantern's in the ballroom. It is. I do. Okay. I hope that was somewhat useful. It were. Um, right, it's my go. Um, so we got four. So, I think that calls four. You know what? No, I'm going to stay here. Thank I'm going to ask Azure and I'm going to suggest the loot again, whatever that is. There we go. There we go. Um, no. No. Right, okay. That's fine. Okay. It's your turn. What are you going to do? Uh, oh, secret passage. You might as well get the look at that uh, last card, which I think will be a good one for you. I think you'll be happy with that one. Oh, yeah. And then your guess. What um, are we going for? The white with the loot. The loot. Uh, she's already there. And then the loot's in here. Let me grab that. Uh, secret passage. Where are you? There you are. Um, no. Okay. I'm afraid not. Um, free. I'm going to take a trip this way, I think. There we go. Your turn. Ooh. Lovely. Um... One, two, three, four. I think I'll go in here. Okay. Bedroom it is. I'm gonna go white. Okay. With the pistol. Pistol. I have that for you. Here you go. <laughs> uh yes. Right. And it is my go. Six. Okay. Your turn. Oh. Two. Not not a fun roll. Not a fun roll. No. Four. No, it's definitely not a fun roll. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> not fair. I'm not gonna lie. I've known the answer since years ago. The I've actually known it since going to the veranda to see the card uh. because I went to the theatre, thought I'd knock a couple of things off just to confirm what I knew. And then obviously you dragged me over to the I banquet hall. So you put me in a bit of a tight spot and it was between whether I'd like tried to play it off cool and go to the ballroom <laughs> or I put pressure on you here. Cause I feel like if I wouldn't have made it, I'd have, kind of, I'd have kind of had to force you to make a guess, which mm -hmm. I don't know what you, I, we both know who it is and what it is, but I don't know which room you'd have gone for just out of interest. I would have said banquet hall. See, that's why I stayed in the banquet hall to try and trick you. I think the answer is Mrs. Peacock with the loot at the arcade. Really? Yeah, I'm afraid it is. Oh, it was. And that's literally just because, obviously, I went that's to the arcade and guessed, I guessed that with Azure, then went to the veranda and saw Grey, so I was like, well, I know it's Peacock, and then knew because... I've seen all the chests that it had to be the loot and the arcade. So I figured out all of the stuff within literally two goes. Yeah. But no, the only card you didn't see from me was the banquet hall. Banquet hall. That's why I showed you Azure. Because I was tossed between showing you 
that or azure and i was like if i go azure yeah. it means you'll stop moving me unless you really have to and it means that you'll probably have some sort of interest towards the banquet hall being the thing so i tried to really play it well and i think i did this time yeah. i think i did it well, I, right? I, I can't believe it i've come out insanely lucky <laughs> the banquet hall you actually treat me with that but now you know to now I've kind of given it away of what I'm doing. Now you know to come next, Cluedo. Although SFX is a little bit more difficult to hide things, but it'll mean that you've got a little bit more awareness, so you can try and spot if I'm trying to trick you this time. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah because you stayed there. What threw yeah. me off? Because you stayed in the banquet hall. So I thought. Well, I could. I could oh, have gone to the pier, but the thing was, if I went to the pier or the stayed in the banquet hall, I'd have still been the same distance away. And I didn't want to go down towards the pier because I feel like I would have led you to go to the arcade. Yeah. But I bet now you wish you'd... Because you literally were in... You rolled from the pier. You got nine, didn't you? You were literally in touching distance of all the rooms. You had all the choices. You could have gone arcade, took the secret passage, or gone to the bedroom. If you'd have chosen the arcade, the outcome might have been slightly different you never know it's true here we are we're on the right chart and uh Yet again, this is Peacock. Wow. She's catching up. She's catching up. I was prepared for it to be Inspector Grey for some reason. Because, I mean, you kept asking Mrs. Peacock, so I kind of presumed you didn't have her. But I was just very unsure between her or Grey. Grey. And obviously, getting the chest answered that question. And then not to rub the salt straight into the current wounds. No. But it's another one for me. <laughs> And I will, uh, if you don't mind, I will, uh, wrong trophy. <laughs> Missed it. Masquerade. I will, uh, I'll help myself. I feel like this is slightly disappointing for you. Yeah. But that's, uh... Losing the masquerade one. I know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to reorganise now. I'll just put the extra Cluedo trophy there for now. Yeah, that's where we're at. So I've now got five secured. You've only got three. Only three. And you're now on... You've still got quite a lot of trophies, to be honest. That's still, what, 8, 12, 14 to my 12. So I am catching up. Another one would put us neck and neck on trophies. Not necessarily neck and neck in this race. But in but the overall It trophies. all comes down to SFX, which... That one, I mean, generally, I think you win it more, yeah. but it basically comes down to the look of whoever finds the clues the quickest, really. 